Hi everyone. Hi everybody. In today's video, we are going to try to mask Reggie nails because mm -hmm. we have a very Reggie nail that's called Mount Regmore. <laughs> yes, indeed. So these are the nails that we did the other day with different green colors. We're gonna link it at the at the end of the video if you're interested. Yeah, for Saint Patty's so, Day. Yes, and of course we're going to show you how to mask Reggie nails with Dazzle Dry. Sorry, I should have mentioned that. And the reason why we're especially talking about Dazzle Dry is because Dazzle Dry system, it dries very, very thin. So the layers are not very plump and thick. So if you have irregular nail surface, so if you have imperfections, it's sadly, it's going to show with Dazzle Dry. So that's one kind of a problem that you know, we have with Dazzle Dry. There are so many other benefits of Dazzle Dry that I talk about, you know, very, very often that it's still, in my opinion, very, very worth, uh, you know, using or buying. So today I'm going to show you how to achieve a little bit smoother surface of the nail with the products that you already have, because Dazzle Dry already has Transformer, which is transform, no, transform, transform. <laughs> transformer. Transformer it has is, a... is one of these, okay? <laughs> no, no, uh, no. Right there, right it's there. Yeah. Decepticon. Okay. Yeah. So transform, sorry, uh, which is a ridge filler. And a couple of people just recently mentioned um, that product, and I really don't have that much experience with it. I've tried it a few times, um, but I don't know. I To be honest, probably I should work with it a little bit more to have a better opinion but let's before you spend more money let's try achieving a smoother surface with the products that are, you already have okay so that was two minutes of explaining what i'm going to do but i haven't done anything yet okay so this is dazzle dry <laughs> dazzle dry uh that's completely dry with a matte top coat what we're going to that? it was mistletoe dazzle so we're dry gonna mistletoe. yeah so we're gonna do the same color with the matte top coat the mattify. No, no, that's going to be way too many codes. We're going to do it shiny, but we'll see. I wanted to show you how the, the, the procedure looks. That way you can try it on yourself and let me know how this works for you. I was just saying what was on Ah, the, okay, okay. I thought you we wanted to do it again. We use the Dazzle Dry Mattify yes, as yes, a yes. topper for the yes, 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 you're right. Dazzle Dry Mistletoe. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's all I was trying to say. Yeah. So we're going to do this in kind of a real time. Right. So we're going to do dry each coat separately. Yeah. And we're going to time it for you because we're not going to sit and watch the paint paint dry. Well, we are, but you're, you're not. not. And so let's do everything properly because, you know, I'm kind of crazy like that. Uh, so I'm going to just push back the, the living skin. Because even though we did a proper manicure after a few days, that skin sometimes it needs to be pushed back a little bit. Right. Okay, and then we're going to use prep. I swear this is not going to take forever. But I really want to do all the steps to kind of show you the right way of doing that. Because sometimes it's just pure acetone or alcohol is a little bit too drying to the nail. So let's just do everything the way we should be doing it. And prep is this product. And by the way, when you are buying Dazzle Dry, we would super appreciate if you could buy through our links because that really helps to uh, maintain our channel. Right. And we receive a little commission from Yeah, it. I mean, right. exactly. So we really appreciate the help. It's at no extra cost to you. Same with the like. Actually, Those we have, free. yeah, and we have the 20% off, but that's one time use only. So, so kind of keep it for like a bigger order, maybe, right? The 20% off. Right. Mm -hmm. And by the way, oh my God, if you are a new subscriber, subscriber, if you are a new, if to you have a, drive. to Dazzle Drive, there is a code that's called NB25. I'm going to double check the code, but I think it's NB25 and it you gives 25%. you 25% off your first order and then after that if you haven't used our code then use our code then you use our code so then think, you get yeah. 20 percent off after i think i hope because if i don't know this is for new customers only i think right. it's one per use i don't know anyway so but if you're just using both the codes for the first time well we, we think you can't use Double them check. in conjunction of course you can't yeah. use both of them at the same no, time no. you can use them both separately providing that you were a first oh time God. user too both making it so complicated Okay, so I think we should just edit that. Out. Yeah, 
yeah whatever so what i'm going to do now is just time it just you know because i'm kind of a nerd like that and i like to see how everything works but um by the time you're done with your 10 nails usually the first nail is already dry you can see that this base coat is drying very quickly it's going matte you want to make sure that the base coat is dry every time you apply a s another product on top of it because if it's not dry the second layer is going to kind of get stringy and stick to it and make a huge mess you don't want that to happen no you always want to make sure uh, i think you can see it here i don't want to point with my fingers uh here this area because it tends to kind of apply a little bit thicker on the free edge usually this area tends to have sometimes more product on so make sure that i always turn the nail to the side to see if it's also nice and matte so this took a minute which kind of i'm gonna just double check yeah this is still a little bit tacky on the very end i'll give it another yeah so by the time if you're pretty slow applying the the polish then and that's what you would do normally what i would do is kind of do one hand let it set for a minute and then do the other hand so by then the second hand is going to be dry you mean the first hand is going to be dry yes oh my god sorry guys i was supposed to be someone that said that i was a good teacher and i'm not sure anymore you are a good teacher okay so the second so this is ready for the second coat by the way you always want to make sure that the, the base coat is nice and clear completely clear like water looking because if it's cloudy or if it has little chunks of cloudiness that means that it's not warmed up properly it is absolutely normal for the base coat to um, turn a little cloudy when the temperature dips below 70 degrees fahrenheit which is i think 15 degrees celsius or something let's say something like that i'll double check I'll, I'll add it later so it's normal it's going to kind of solidified solidify almost like coconut oil kind of and then you need to kind of warm it up a little bit so you just stand it in a in some warm water make sure that you stand it up to here let's say uh not past the neck because you don't want any water to get in there right to make sure that it turns nice and and don't stick it in a boiling hot no water. exactly because you're just gonna cook it cook it yeah we don't want cooked base coat the second coat of base coat takes a little bit longer to dry and it's not going to be as matte as the first one and why using two layers because they say so i guess i don't know it's, it's especially for the nails it's it's very recommended for toes i find one coat works perfectly unless someone has very damaged or very thin toenails which is usually not the case so one coat of base coat on toes i really don't have any chipping or any issues with the toenails no after a month no five weeks but that's right yeah it should be done once a month but um okay so let's uh let this dry a little bit i'm going to mix the color okay let's see it this is still a little bit tacky see so the second coat i usually find the first coat dries let's say in one minute second coat two minutes third coat almost like three minutes or something like that anyway so the reason why you want to shake the nail polish is because you want the pigments and the stuff inside the nail polish to distribute evenly, evenly. especially well always but sometimes with dazzle dry you will see the separation kind of this white color it, the reason the reason for it is that these colors contain mineral pigments i think like titanium dioxide or something and they tend to stick to the sides I'm of bummed. the bottle and they kind of make the polish look lighter but it's not the whole polish that has faded it's just you see how I mean, it can fade too, but you can see that it's not faded inside. Right. And by the way, this is the first time that I've noticed that this has like a multicolored sparkle, like a shimmer. This is a love secret, by the way. It's, it's nice, very, very warm. Fine, yeah. Uh, Beige. Ah, glitter or glitter. shimmer, yes. Yeah, it's like a, like a holographic glitter, but it's yeah. very, very, very fine. Very. Very. So now when this second layer of base coat is dry we're going to apply the top coat that's right so 
we're doing things a little different today. Well, that's the that's the rich filling layer. So we're gonna do a top coat, and I work with the top coat quite slowly, so I don't get linen bubbles. Nice smooth strokes. Okay, and now we're gonna let this dry for five minutes. And I know this is too like many coats, right? But it dries fast. It's worth it and it dries fast. So I think if we compare it, which I am going to compare, we're going to do, I love these kind of, you know, experiments. We're going to compare dazzle dry, drying time, each coat with a regular polish. So I'm going to wait until each coat is dry and, and, and measure the time. Oh, heckins. It's super interesting, huh? He's like, yeah, no. <laughs> He's like, what? WTF, what are you talking about? And the way, I'm out of here. Okay, so we're going to let this, by the way. Oh, boy. If you like the clear look, I really, we've done it once and it wore extremely well. One layer of base coat and one layer of top coat for just like a clear look. Yeah. I know this is not groundbreaking news, but it's nice. It's just a nice friendly reminder. Yeah. I said that that's also possible right. if you just want something on your nails right. and really good thing. I know I'm going to let you go in a second, but a really nice thing about Dazzle Dry is that it does not contain nitrocellulose. No, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing toxic. There's nothing bad with nitrocellulose. And I mean, unless you drink it or something or I don't know. Which you shouldn't if you, do. Yeah, if you're applying it on nails, it's perfectly fine. But the problem with nitrocellulose, I think, is that it oxidizes in presence of, I think it was a protein and moisture. So the nail is protein and moisture. And it it also, it kind of turns yellow. It changes the, the color. And I'm doing an experiment that I'm going to reveal later, but it looks like it is the case that the nitrocellulose and the nail polish yellows the nails. It's not the pigments and the colorants in the polish, but I think it's nitrocellulose. So because I never, ever have an issue with yellowing, with dazzle drying, with any pigments. Never. On a toes, people's nails are so nice and healthy, not yellow whatsoever. Anyway, we're going to let this dry for five minutes and we'll be right back. Okay, so it's five minutes. I actually touched the nail uh, three minutes later and it felt completely dry, but we'll wait. You know, I wanted to wait five minutes to be very accurate. Now, please don't hate me, but now we're going to put another layer of base coat. So the reason why is because this layer is drying so smooth, I guess, and it's that nothing will probably stick to it properly. So we're going to do another base coat and I'm going to do a thin coat. And guess what? We're just going to do one layer. <laughs> we're going to let this dry, so I'm going to time it now. Okay, so this took two minutes. Yep. So now we're going to apply mistletoe. And guess what? Chicken butt. We're going to dry it between the coats. Oh, joy. I should have probably applied like a cream color to show more of the imperfection, but That's if you guys are interested, we're gonna, we can redo this test with the, like a nude or cream polish, okay? So let us know in the comment section. All right, let's uh, let this dry. Okay, so a minute and a half, and this is dry. All right, very good. This is fast. He's moving. I'm not moving. Yeah. No. Wow, look at that skill. Okay, we're gonna let this dry as well. I really like this color. Mm -hmm. Too bad nobody wears it. <laughs> Not if my clients want it. Okay, let's let's make this, um, sorry, let's dry this. Let's make this dry. Oh dear, dazzle dry. Okay, so this is dry. Here. We're gonna do now, guys, Another top four, coat. four layers of top coat. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do a top coat and let it dry for 
five minutes. Oh joy. And this is the same um, step by step that you would use with the transform. Transformer. <laughs> okay. I think it does look better. Okay, but we have to wait for the top coat now to dry to see the true picture. Okay, so let's start. No, see you. We'll see you back in five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Here we go. It is smoother. Yeah. Wow. Okay. You can still see the ridge, but it you see the color of it, but you don't really see the texture as much, no? Correct. Yeah. It's far less visible. Uh-huh. Wow, okay. So this is very good news. Very good news. We will take a picture and give you an update tomorrow on Instagram. How this looks. I mean, this is fully dry. Don't get me wrong. This is dry. I don't want to leave fingerprints now. Right. Because Dazzle Dry dries fully in five minutes. So there is no more kind of solvents in the nail polish. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. But we'll give you an update Very nice. tomorrow. Okay, we'll give you an update tomorrow. And please let us know if you're going to be trying this method. Yes. I know it's so many coats, but still, at the end of the day, now the, the nail polish is fully dry, so it could be worth it. Yeah. So and I'm going to be doing more testing with this. Yeah. I mean, don't expect miracles, right? But there could be uh, an improvement. So why not? Alrighty, guys. So this is it for today's video. We're going to take some pictures outside or some videos outside because so it's a different away. lining. Yeah. Stay, stay, for stay for that. And other than that, this is it for today. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for, for watching and for joining. And thank you again so much for the likes. And thank you, Patreons, for for um, supporting us and for people that send donations and for the likes and thank for the views much. and everything else. It like means Gia, the world to us. Yes, yes. Thank you. See you soon, guys. Bye. Ciao. This is fully dry now. I mean, it's better. It's not perfect, but it's better.